Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is so exciting. Okay, so other streamers are live. They're probably watching this right now, um, but not me. I'm not live, so I gotta record my reaction to it. They just tweeted this out. Deathwire and the Escape the Eviscerator update are both coming on Thursday, September 8th. So in two days, very, very soon. Super excited about it. We'll be streaming it live, of course, on twitch.tv slash Bennett and here on the YouTube channel. But the other part of this tweet, join Video Horse Society developers, um, Baron and Kenzo. Actually, I've never, like, I always saw his, uh, his Twitter handle being this. I don't know what it means. Maybe that's his real, no, his real name is Baron, right? Wait. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Are you Cola? Are you Cola? And Kenzo on a deep dive into the skills and strategy at playing during a Deathwire game. A full video here. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what the community wanted. We all voted in a poll that I put out. They wanted to see a dev, a dev stream. So here it is. Let's see how long it is. Ooh, 27 minutes. Let's go. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go. 307 views. I give it a like. Boom. Let's watch this. What was that? Ooh, oh my gosh. All right, so we already know his abilities. If you haven't uh, seen my patch notes video or dev notes, um, I went over all his abilities. We saw gameplay, like brief, like 14 second clips, even four second clips of some of the abilities. So very brief stuff, but 27 minutes here. I'm guessing we're going to get a Deathwire POV and then also maybe a teen POV. I don't want to get spoiled. I don't want to scroll through this, but Let's go, let's hop into it. Let's let's watch this. Get cozy, grab your popcorn, grab a soda pop, grab some appy juice. Deathwire deep dive. Are we, are we gonna hear his tension? We're gonna everything's gonna be revealed. The lead character artist at Hellbent Games. Hi, I'm Baron. I'm a gameplay engineer at The Hellbent studio Games. looks exactly and the same. It's gonna be our first look at Deathwire today. Uh, we're gonna go uh, into some gameplay and we're just gonna talk over it. Hopefully my camera doesn't block so you're too much. Playing Deathwire in this one. Yeah, I'm, um, I had the All right. of Oh my, I forgot we're gonna see the map. Against you guys. <laughs> Demoralized pocket punch oh, yeah, drift mode. Really fun. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I go into, I try I like the icon down there. That's pretty cool. To, uh, drift mode mm -hmm. because I want to, yeah, start. So that's going the big from thing. station to station right away. That's the big thing with Deathfire, right? He has the two modes that you can swap between. Yeah, he's so much faster oh. than the mode, so <clears> then I can, uh, yeah, so you're gonna be wanting to go in drift mode right away. Down, um, well, it's not he a, transformed. You just use it whenever you want. Um, aside from you saw there when I hit the team. He like so, had uh, drift mode instantly when he transformed too. Down. Right, there's like a recalibration. Yeah. Yeah. Home, or time after you hit someone, and that's so that you can't like just. Dang. Like, okay, this guy's gonna be annoying to go against. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That like staggers them completely. Grace. Yeah. Right after the celebration, it gives them a little bit of a time to get away from uh, Dang. Deathwire. Will I be able to memorize yeah. this map before it comes yeah, out? Did you see me? Yeah, I, I lost that person after I hit them. Um, yeah, Central I Arena. And you and Sean, so, uh, and Ali. Vending so machines are in weird experience. spots as well. Uh, yeah, I heard something here. I'm just they're, li they're like not together. I can pause at times when I watch this, but um, yeah, it was interesting to see that vending machines are not like clumped together like in the other maps, at least on this one. Maybe they're gonna update the other maps as well and place them in random spots. They're still like near the same areas, but it seemed like they're more on their own. And that might be due to the fact that the uh, vending machines are now gonna be able to be hit by the monster. So spreading them out more isn't gonna get the, give the monster like just two free vending machine hits everywhere they go. They could even change vending machines to be RNG. I feel like that'd be a really Mechanic. Trying to find people. I was lucky here to catch that glimpse. What is this thing? Is that the new plague? Oh yeah, that's to reach into the void. Uh, the beyond. Station, if you're scanned too far. Or Instead of ten hits, it's eight though. Right. I I had a really good start in this game, at least. I'm gonna watch this like so that two shot times. That you just did. Um, if you hit someone, you hear them. Uh, yeah. So it's easy to tell if you if you hit somebody or not, right? Yeah. Because they uh, scream. There's also a mutation that. Uh, reveals them if you shock them. Uh, I do like to run that. Yeah, and this run is a base kit, so we're not. I'm not having it running any. Right. And we saw demoralize activate right there as well. That's one of the new perks, I'm pretty sure. Um, or I'm wrong about that. But when, once you down the person, everybody else that's crafting gets jammed for 12 seconds, or depending the seconds change depending on the um, the perk tier. But that is an 80 second cooldown right there as well. And then pocket punch. I'm guessing. 
This is, is this early gameplay before they named it Gutter Punch? Or, I don't know. That might be the Gutter Punch perk, though. And then this is obviously just his mode. But, right. Mode uh, switch. Yeah, if you want a little bit more information on top of That is screen, so is cool. Right. And um, it lasts a while on them, too. Yeah, I, it's not I, like I an echo. the shock there to uh, stop them from vaulting, but... I didn't time it quite right. But. Right, so if you get shocked as a team, you can't you can't vault, you can't attack. You're in your This place has some tight right? corridors. Yeah, you yeah. can't do most actions. Um, you can still crouch, but yeah, you can't use your weapons. You can't uh, use any pickups. Uh, you can't vault. That is so cool. One. So yeah, it, it it it's used as a. I wonder if the it would look uh, at what we just saw right here. I'm wondering if the teens can see this. You can't use your weapons. You can't. Watch. Okay, wait, what is... Dang, this is... So it's better to use f at further distances. But of course, at that point, once you catch up to the person far away, you might lose them. But it does have a wider area at further distances because that's just how the square works. And, uh, but look at this. Once it scans, I wonder if they the teens can see the grid, the red grid right there. Pickups, uh, you can't We're going to see team gameplay probably, so... so yeah, see. It, it, There's a med kit on the wall right there. Uh, at least for me, uh, mm -hmm. I, I like to use it that way. Some people like to use it, use the three shocks mutation. Um, mm -hmm. So you get metal three, uh, instead of two, but that means you can't hit unarmed teens. Right. Um, so then it's not a gap closer at all. It's just no. a, a sort of combative type of yeah. ability. Yeah. That's a good mutation mm -hmm. to be used in the mid game and like end game. Uh, early game, you want to find teens and down them as soon as possible. Here, I shock. I hear them crafting. You hear upstairs, the crafting. Yeah, yeah. So I just shock them to stop them from crafting. I won't. That's cool. Them. And ooh. Right. You're just, yeah. just. And there's a mutation that makes this so that once you shock them, they're jammed for 20 seconds. So actually, that can be really good. Disrupting the the craft. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you hear the staff? I think that's me. I think I built a lot of staffs. Okay. You get this was nice. Freaking close. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sean is I don't like Deathwire's uh, um, yeah, the scream either, though, because it's. I'm pretty sure since he's made by Replitech, they just reused the wart sound effects, but like modulated them slightly. That could be it, um, but it sounds very, very similar to wart. I kind of wish it sounded deep. Like uh, there's so many cool robots in in video games out there. Apex Legends, Revenant. He has a really cool deep voice. I wish he had a voice like that. That'd be so sick. Get away from you. <laughs> and try to go for another ambush play, but cool. Yeah, I have a lot of um, tools here to find out if they're setting up ambushes. That I is so cool, dude! People oh my gosh! I can get to Why is he glowing yellow? Threatened, but then you, I let you with the. Yeah, that's me. That's me. This yeah. was fun. I was trying to like fake. Yeah, I don't like that wires noises. That's the only thing though. Drift back to. Yeah. That drift is cool. So if you hit maximum speed when you're in vehicle mode, or sorry, drift mode, um, if you hit, it's not maximum speed, it's like almost maximum speed, right? Do yeah. weapons not slow you? Can You'll you still do a, a drift? At the top of the screen, and then you can input a, a vector that's, what's the range for like the back uh, slide? Um, what's the range, sorry? Yeah, yeah. So like, you you input an opposite direct uh, a vector of oh, where, where right. you're going. Yeah, yeah, it's about seventy ish degrees. Uh, you can do a maneuver behind um, you, right? Behind 70 you, degrees yeah, behind or, you. or forward, uh, whichever direction you were traveling. Degrees. Before. Right. If you right. input the other direction, that includes you rotating the camera also. Right. Um, then you'll do a oh, okay. drift, uh, which is a uh, it's a good. You'll see me use it at the end there when you guys have two beam weapons at the end of the game. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it's it really throws teens off. The lockers look interesting uh, on this map. Are you gonna just be able to see them through those? There's no way, <laughs> there's no way, right? Look at that. Well, I just like see Faith's bright pink princess dress right there. Uh, yeah, it's it really throws teens off. Uh, I love to use it and I worked on it a whole bunch, so yeah, I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> It's so much fun. It, it's yeah. so much fun. It has so much utility too, like defensively, offensively, just to. Maybe that wasn't a locker a, you can hide in, but I thought I saw a glow. Ammo or check corners quickly. It's it's really really fun, but and it takes a lot of um, skill to use effectively. I think when I first started using it, um, 
I was just running into weapons constantly because I was just trying to use it well. Yeah. Um, no, I know. It's a, it's a high Whoa. Ability. Wait a second. Was that a different... That's a new staff animation, too. Usually they just... Don't they hold it, like, up? I don't think I've ever seen them hold no, it like that. It's a, it's a high skill ceiling ability. High skill ceiling ability. Yeah, I was going to say the drift mode seems like the hardest to use ability. The other ones is, like... I mean, using the shock at the right time, I guess, might be difficult. But it's if people can learn Doctor pretty simply in DVD, this is going to be even easier because it's a giant square and it just activates. It doesn't have a delay to it like Doctor's shock. Um, but it seems pretty similar to it. But yeah, I think uh, his drift is going to be hard for people to, to get used to. Yeah, um, I think... Our committee is gonna make a really good use of it. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what they're gonna do. With it. I can imagine going down the high school hallway and then drifting into the side they, of a room. There, I get um, ambushed and and die, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that's I think a good example of some of Deathwire's weaknesses, right? Like he's he's really good at um, like the walking animation. <laughs> so good. Zones like that. So much right? personality. Yeah. If that was an ambush, he can shut down ambushes really easily. Um, but he he gets a lot of um, sort of s uh, false confidence sometimes because he's like, okay, I shocked totally. this corner, I shocked this corner. But if you yeah. miss those skill shots, then sometimes you can run into situations. There's a regular locker too. You thought you were prepared for, but you really aren't. So like learning to, to sort of place your shocks and your scans in the right places at the right times is kind of part of his kit, right? Absolutely. Uh, I think we had a few games with you where I scanned, like right to the left of you, shot right another medkit right, right there. Yeah, and I, I just figured like, okay, I'm perfectly safe. I'm gonna try to capture this rift. Um, yeah, and then came out and killed me. Yeah. There, I shocked to make sure that they can't vault. Um, I really liked that interaction, and I completely whiffed. That was like an attack right out of drift. That like cancels but drift. Even a cool monster can't help me aim better. <laughs> Um, here I'm, I'm burr, in the burr, open, burr, burr, I'm in burr, arena, burr. so I want to be a little bit more agile. Mm -hmm. So I go into uh, drift mode there. And I but notice I hit it, that looked like a like whole lunge. You attack, it takes a little bit more time. That's right. Yeah, he's... Because you have to transform out of vehicle mode uh, in yeah. order to attack, right? Yeah, if you see uh, Deathfire in... Uh, of course I have team mode. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't know. I love that. I thought I was safe here. Dang. Here. Yeah, shot yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hit me with that one bullet at the end. Um, no, I, it's a lot of fun and I, I love his emotes as well. Oh yeah, so um, yeah, in vehicle mode, his arms tuck away and then- This is so cool, this map looks complicated. You, you can't use your arms while in uh, drift mode. It's gonna take a while to get used to. Which means if you're gonna attack, you can click like attack out of it, but you will have that extra period of time where you have to transform out of the vehicle mode, the drift mode. I keep saying vehicle mode, and then uh, and then you hit hit the team. But uh, this was uh, <laughs> oh, to be not predictable because I see you have a Molotov, so that was like a. <laughs> this is drifting around him. <laughs> I tried to use the pop and and just go around in circles and see what you would do, um, and you just stood there and watched me. Wait, let's <laughs> go back with really the. Seven and six. Oh, this is the same thing I said from the um, in the trailer. I'm pretty sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So this doesn't count uh, the teen hits unless it's just not working yet. Round in circles and see what you would do. Um, and you just stood there and watched me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you was gonna you were gonna use the pop and then run away. I and didn't. Then I didn't feel confident enough at any point to chuck them all. To <laughs> so oh, I used yeah, the pop and then drifting, panicked. Yeah. That was fun. Is the yellow thing? So this is like. I think the shock outlines him in yellow, right? Yeah, yeah I was trying to get you there. Yeah, it does, okay. Kinda hard to Thought maybe that's a, a monster buff they're doing to make shocks. teens easier to find. I tried to fake out all of your Molotovs out of your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, I found it's difficult to play against uh, Deathfire when you have. Dang, his tracking is gonna be so good. Yeah. When you can just follow the chroma yeah, totally. that quick. I mean, of course, Werewolf can do that. That's one of the big things with them. But Drift Mode yeah, seems like it's always up. Look, two seconds. Like, if you were to compare it to... Oh, yeah, we can talk about it. Oh, hey, wait a sec. <laughs>
That is exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Like if you were to from Yeah, well <laughs> from like they they probably I mean they've had this probably down for a long time, but I guessed right. It's gonna look like an actual tear into the into the beyond. Tear to that's oh, really yeah, cool. Can talk about okay, that. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um yeah, what I did there is uh, I I had eight hits, uh, which is the number we're using for uh, how many hits you need to get another plague, mm -hmm. and then I reached into the a tear into beyond and I grabbed a random one. Um, luckily, I got an agony, so I can kill Sean faster. So I'm like, not camping, but I'm making sure he's he bleeds out as much as possible. And it's probably nerfed as well since you only need eight now, and you are going to get multiple every game. They said they were gonna yeah, nerf so all the you can see at the, bottom, the counter's now down to zero out of eight again. So the next eight hits are gonna be building up towards your second plague as well, right? That's right. And I'll get another random one. Uh, you can still bring a plague. Uh, so oh, that'll be the one bad... you start the. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That that was... That's a bad mutation to use against. <laughs> yeah. For sure, because you can just see you and, yeah, yeah. and shock you, right? Definitely. Yeah, that was the enigma. Yeah. That mutation makes it so when you charge it, the monster can see you, but I think it charges faster or something. Uh, but yeah, those things, when your auras are filled against Deathwire, rip. Rest in peace. He's just going to shock you through the walls. In their hands, uh, when they were trying to absorb. Who was that? That's Ross? Uh, yeah. Ross, yeah. That is so good. 20 so second cooldown. playing Deathwire and you get yeah. like all 14s in one, sh in one scan or something. Oh, yeah. I want to do that. Sound designer did a fantastic job. There. Those dings just feel so satisfying. Just go ding ding. Mm -hmm. When you get four, oh. His place looks so cool. I want him to look up so we can see the flying ships yeah, and stuff. It's always terrifying to chase against you guys, but yeah, I'm able to have like a little bit more. Oh, yeah, so this is beta yeah, footage. Yeah, I didn't even read that I'm up there. Up. Here, this is. <laughs> Somehow I missed that purple beam and then I Ooh, <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. No. Wait, oh my gosh. His shocks can be so good against that. You just hear the direction of where someone's piloting an RC or you hear the direction where uh, an eyeball is being flown and you just shock them through the walls. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Ali Ali... really didn't want us to use this video. <laughs> He's very that. happy about us using it. He's sitting behind And you get two of them. <laughs> right now. And I can feel his gaze. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Or three if you use them. Oh my gosh. That's uh, why it's going to be the best you monster. Use the uh, scan there to not only check that upper station, but you purposefully lined it up with the other stations behind it to get like maximum value out of the scan, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a few situations where I will go. Yeah, I will um, go to a station my... and then try to line up as many stations as I can because it's. it's a, yeah, that makes sense. It is across the map. That's really cool. Also, look look at this right here. I think this is when you scan four people. Like ding 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 ding. But um, in my most recent Dollmaster video, I noticed some stations on facilities they lined up perfectly. It was like three in a row. It would be that would be such a sick scan. And being able to scan through like up and down floors is gonna be really good. All the way down the map. So right. Um, yeah, get as much information as I need in that scenario. Mm -hmm. So I, here I've hit um, Ross five times, and this will be nice. the time, and he dies here. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen like further in the game, three different vaults on this map so far, I think. And they won't die, mm -hmm. and then we'll showcase another feature we added recently. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to point out on uh, Deathwire's forearm, when you, when you kill or you hit yeah. any... Uh, teens his forum comes up and he's mm -hmm. a little display there that shows how many teens are alive and uh, how many are alive okay. ross so there's a little <laughs> x through his through his head which is pretty cool okay i thought it was based on who you scan here i'm checking my corners and trying to be you know trying to make myself a difficult to hit target oh dude the drift is so sick <laughs> i heard the someone opening the lockbox is that uh -huh. you so I was opening the lockbox and Ali was outside and he was really <laughs> angry that that he found that you found him there. Well he's still vaulted right there. Yeah, he wasn't he... even the one But Trickster's the Trickster Shadow said if you get hit by it you won't be able to vault. They might have just been mid vault or something. Might be like Doctor where it, maybe it does have a little delay. <laughs> well, 
You know, lesson learned. Don't try to open the box without a weapon. It's That's true. really cool. It's true. Ali learned a lot of lessons in this game, actually. Uh, the rift looked different that time, too, or the the beyond looked different. Was he alive for that? One? It's like rotating in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's gonna love this. Uh, love this video. <laughs> oh man, poor Ali. See here, of course they res Ross. Even oh, that's the new. That's busted right there. Busted. That's it. Look at that. Oh. Um, yeah. So, so you can look at his portrait, and it looks a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all our yeah, tutorials zombie, are outdated. Also, we, we see this new uh, icon. I guess you didn't want to. You didn't want to use your weapon there. I think we didn't have a kill weapon, so I'm just trying to yeah, yeah, buy as much time. So Here, just... I'm trying to learn the map. <laughs> <laughs> I love the new staff uh, animation. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Looks great. Uh, Ross, yes. So that's uh, that's the new status effect that we have in the game. After you get hit six times, you're, Wait, you're does... no longer able Wait. to... Wait, does his arm display a zombie? No. That would be cool if it's like green or something. Have in the game, after you get hit six times, you're, you're no longer able to heal. Yeah, or you're busted. Healed. Unless you get the sacred staff. There's gonna be so many the stabs. The exception to this is that you can be healed by an Oh staff. my goodness, what a yeah, shot. That, that felt good. That was a good I don't shot. know what that what is. What was that punch? <laughs> what? It was a good shot. Let's go back to the... <laughs> Good <laughs> shot out. <laughs> what was like, that? I get it. I get it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I think I saw a chair. I was like, oh, there's someone else hiding here. Nope. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good shot, though. And that's, that's a cool thing about. That's why that I think none of our monsters, other monsters have, right? Is that yeah, that predictive skill shot sort of thing? Oh, this is this is so. He's gonna escape this. Yeah. yeah. This stuff <laughs> why is the solar flare so? Oh, someone placed it at a window. Uh, I get the stun, and then Sean only had one shot left on the sword, so he couldn't. Ooh, finish them. wait a second. Like solar flares are gonna be rough against against Deathwire, aren't they? Er, because like a wart can armor through them. I guess most monsters soul fears are rough to go against anyways. Like werewolf you can't howl it if the person's out of range. I guess you could just shock the person with Deathwire unless they're out of range. So it's gonna be just like werewolf. Critical moment in the game, I think, because yeah. that's two weapons wasted there. Totally. And Ross is busted and I'm injured and uh Ali's uh Well, I mean he's been dead. I love the, the game, drift. So. This whole video is I wonder if if you get attacked, it is, it is, can you drift? He doesn't deserve it. That would be so so good. <laughs> Ali just joined us. Um, he's more of a recent employee, so we put That's him true. in the game. He's good though. He's good. He's really oh, that lasts a while. Was he able to move that? For the amount of hours he has, he's been. It seemed like he was able to move it. Yeah, he, the Ross also just. Uh, used this dancing spark sunstone and he threw it down that window and it actually landed right in front of me mm -hmm. doing all that so it was like i think cool. now i've seen like five faults i'm glad i have this time to just cruise around and they all look really good what i can do like he can you can use that time with the drift mode for sure it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good thing this is a good showcase of the map too like the environment team did such a good job with this map it's it's really great okay here uh, who's, Ross who's was running that, that stone. Was, mm -mm. That was Ross on the other side, and he running into a wall. Up because I was on push to talk because my baby was uh, yelling, uh, and I was frantic. I thought they were all playing in the studio. To, talk, to tell Ross to start firing it, but I was yeah. pushing the wrong button. I was just pinging no. over and over again. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what I was thinking. Pushing there, I get a little lucky for sure. Yeah, for sure. I was hoping to just charge the staff in safety. Um, uh, and, and that's a that's an interesting dynamic that the buffs we're not going to see team gameplay are we? Uh, no. We're at the end. We're not able that's to fine, just though. continually push kill weapons over and over. Yep. I mean, if if Holy was a uh, the final station, then maybe. But with the busted status, um, we really have to balance like crafting staffs in order to try and heal ourselves. Uh, and we do a pretty good job here, but. Um, it, yeah, it adds a, another level of uh, sort of decision making that the teens have to make. Because um, you have to, if you want to heal yourself and stay alive yeah. at the end of the game, you're going to be building stabs, right? Exactly. And that gives me um, 
But this is a longer game. I still find it so weird, like, gimmicky, but, like, just, like... Uh, it feels it like... Much. It feels like adrenaline and DVD. And by that, I mean, like, it does everything. Like, or, like, uh, how am I trying to, trying to explain this? It feels like when the nightmare puts you to sleep, like old Freddy or whatever. I think even new Freddy, adrenaline wakes you up. So it's like, all these different things can wake you up in the game, and then you just have adrenaline also does it like this one weird perk out here randomly wakes you up as well from the uh, sleep state that's what the crafting stabs and busted feels like it's just that one odd mechanic that's out of the way and it's just a thing much longer if it's so i don't know if i like it but like i don't know what a better mechanic would be maybe a mechanic that uh where you have to heal 33 percent on each of the medkit stations around the map to get healed but he, that that'd be kind of crazy too. I don't know. For the busted status, because totally. I'm able to. Um, I think I would have lost the game too if it wasn't for the busted status, mm -hmm. frankly, because I'm able to put more pressure on you guys. You are not able to craft kill weapons. So I haven't seen the new chroma either. I know uh, the busted people um, come back leave different chroma trails. Totally. Uh, like mentally, because his kit is actually really versatile. His cooldowns are not as long, um, so you're able to push, 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 but. Uh, sometimes you need to approach it from a different perspective. Yeah. And, and you guys go on ha like you ha you have to craft holy stuffs during that whole time. So I'm like, okay, I have a little bit of a breathing room here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now he's totally out, of, out of busted. Logically as well. Mm -hmm. Can he now eat a candy bar? Heal at all? Like we have the decision. And to just completely get rid of busted and the skull game. icon. Busted and, having and that, injured, yeah. um, but that's a huge risk for us to take. So like yeah. the balance of the decision making there is really fun, for sure. Yeah, it's it's something the teens have to play around and something the. It is a lot more balanced though, because I just went yeah. up against a now match I'm, where I'm I hit someone yeah, eleven times. Stations. Now I'm I know that there's like, okay, Ross was busted, um, mm -hmm. is is still busted. Um, currently he's healed, so right. I know that he's been healed by his staff. And, yeah, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about all these things. I'm trying to find someone here. I guess I heard. Yeah, something. it looks that like covers really so much ground. Is here. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> I heard footsteps. Oh, maybe so. I was there. I yeah. mean, you weren't that far. Yeah. Um, you guys walk away very efficiently. Even though the sound in this is super quiet, I literally heard footsteps. <laughs> a little bit of running, a little bit of. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little sidestep here and there. There is so much cover in this map too. This environment is so so, so cool. Gorgeous. The the idea with it, uh, if if it isn't clear yet, is that there's these uh, sort of small arenas within this larger game show, um, where they film this uh, this futuristic, messed up TV show where people like fight to the death basically against yeah. robots, uh, called the Eviscerator. Uh, and so like you're seeing sort of the behind the scenes of the production there's like a it's such a cool room and this is like the medical cool bay where they take care of uh mostly the robots i think because they don't care about the people <laughs> but that's not true there's there's people in there and stuff there's um people. did you see uh, the x-rays on that med bay yeah 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 you like, see all the broken bones and stuff this is like the champions arena so i think this is more like a um not not champions arena sorry the champions like gallery um yeah and I think that's more of like a audience facing. That is so, so good, like, dude. There's a lot of different zones uh, that sort of tell the whole. Story. There's the new busted like chroma. Lounge, it's purple. You have the upper lounge and the lower lounge. Um, <laughs> there, I saw the staff sticking out a little bit. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Wait, what was that scream? That was Jess. There, I saw the this VIP lounge. That sound like lounge, David from DVD. Lounge. Wait. Um, <laughs> there, I saw the staff sticking out. Maybe it's because she's a zombie. You? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nice. So, I I got Ross down. Yep. He's busted, and he's just got something stuck in her throat. Well, he's down. So I know that he doesn't have a lot of health left. Yeah. Um, I I was going around seeing if I could even that one was like a loud stop the progress. What? In this game, oh maybe it was Leo. Was it Leo on, screaming. Um, making sure I can follow up on some hits and making sure <laughs> I'm safe. But, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If I did a better job of that, I would be able to stop Ross from eating so many chocolate bars because that's the only way he's so still alive and he's yeah. still bleeding out he's still alive yeah 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 we've really had to use like all of our resources in this game uh, yeah. to even stay in it that's you a good decision really well. like a micro gameplay thing you can do is that you can really deny some chocolate bars and uh, totally pops 
It's useful. Yeah. Yeah. There it is again. So and that one right is there, which is good. You got a power play. Cooldown so recovery. So it tells you right there, so you don't need to memorize uh, your cooldowns faster. What the bugs look like. Yeah. And with him, uh what I do is yeah, I scan, I use it, and I So you can get a scan, scan again as soon as possible. Mm. Uh, yeah. if I'm not in an engagement where I need to use my shocks. Right. Uh, and yeah, using a play during an engagement is is, is difficult. So. Right. So I you're really use... patrolling those last two stations here. You're you're staying near this one and you're scanning the other one because you know that's that's our win condition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And so here, I go a little... Oh yeah, but it's the down person. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. I I'm not used to seeing the the purple. Yeah, the, I was the, gonna say the purple. So yeah, I figured, yeah. okay, that's totally someone just like bleeding out, and I yeah. didn't think about it, so I just. Yeah. And sometimes you just have to go for that like, quick yeah. hit, um, prediction hit, yep. to make yep. sure that no one else is gonna follow up. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah. Or... This map looks so good. Yeah, pre ah, swinging. I already saw where all the medkit stations corner. are too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I, technical time. Thank you. Ken. Yeah, that's that's actually in the code. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So the the actual busted. Um, mm -hmm aberration you leave behind is different so yeah. it's easier to find you if you're busted oh i'm surprised the enigma didn't curve around the entire corner you did get such ross a good up. job saving ross uh, yeah, i i couldn't even get to so i saw where ross did not hit her where you went that didn't hit her i don't have any shocks i'm like spamming it i'm like okay now what do i do what do i do and by the time i have my I can shock, see, way i too can far. see the icon yeah blinking it's just going, you're trying to spam it yeah yeah so i i lose you here um that's like really good spacing from you and then Ross did a good job of getting away too. Yeah, yeah. I think our communication was pretty good. Aside yeah. from that one time I forgot to hit or I couldn't hit the push the talk. Yeah. Um <laughs> they ran into a wall. Also, those 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 times will always happen where it happened to me so much in the first beta though. When the uh display in terms of like yeah. when the button to uh do healing skill checks was spacebar instead of clicking. I could never hit the the voice comms button. Placement or whatever, um, and you you have to take advantage of those. Yeah. So now I have two kills on my sleeve. Uh, on my. He has two button. charges of the electric thing. Like, how are you supposed to escape from death wire? It seems so good. I don't remember what Ross. It's gonna definitely be similar to werewolf. We have to make distance. Building at uh, one of the occult stations. Yeah, a so cult we stations. are also getting used to playing against the busted status. Mm. I wouldn't have scanned. Is that the old the, name for uh, curse, probably? A cult station there, if I knew. If you've uh, been more familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting hearing the devs talk. That's what I loved so much about the old dev streams. Kenzo would always call the monsters evils, because that's what the name used to be. And I guess they used to call these a cult stations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the enigma. Enigma. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he was building a staff. So he here that. I shock you, you're way too far, and I shock Ross, and you're there to help, so I'm like, okay, two beam weapons, what do I do? I have no yeah. shocks. So I try to fake going here, and then I quickly change targets to come here. And by Dang. It's a slow weapon. Yeah. I was, that was, I was counting on it. Him repositioning to try to get an angle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But teens will have to get used to his speed when he drifts out of a corner. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, going in really to check cool, a room, just like going in, peeking really quick to check if anyone's on the crafting table, and then just drifting out. Oh, Being I cannot wait. Sort of fake your I cannot wait. And move between them so quickly, uh, and keep us guessing like where you're coming out and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's really. really and good. it's a it's a good feeling to know that he's not useless when he doesn't have his shocks. Uh, um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. His, yeah. Uh, totally. He could have still gotten a hit there. I don't think we talked about this yet. What is that? Yeah. What? Wait, did they nerf monsters too? Look at this. When he gets a hit right here. Those don't like don't speed charge up. It, but... They pause now. That's weird. Or maybe is that a... Is that a new mechanic? That's just a nerf to monsters though. Maybe that's just a visual thing in... That I'm seeing it wrong. Line, uh, the yellow outline that's around me. Um, mm, yeah. When you shock someone, they become overcharged, uh, and they can't be re-shocked. 
Oh, okay, the yellow line's overcharge. This, yeah, yeah, I do want to talk about that, actually. So you shock <laughs> up, right? You yeah. shock up through the floor, and I see the shock come through. Because uh, as a teen, you can see sort of the angle um, that the shock is coming out. So I see the shock happen. I know you're below me, and so I thought you were further back than you were. I didn't think you were actually coming out of that, because I thought you were uh, predicting and then going to go up the stairs around. Mm -hmm. So I jumped mm -hmm. down to try and catch you going the other way, but I, I, you were, like, right there, so... That makes anyway, sense. Um, that's some that's some copium, Kenzo. <laughs> copium. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. That was, that was really cool. We like Death Wired. His his kid is probably my favorite so far. So mm -hmm. agile. Um, don't have to wait around for cooldowns as much as I can mm -hmm. play it at my own pace and kind of dictate the pace of the game that way, mm -hmm. which feels good as the monster player, right? Totally. So, totally. And, yeah, playing against Death Wired also really fun. Yeah, there's so much there's so much versatility to his kit. Like almost every ability he has can be used in in more than just one way, right? Like, um, yeah, and I think it was a good showcase that game of you being able to use your abilities in so many different situations. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. And, yeah, uh, thank you. Ho ho hopefully, you'll get your hands on him. As soon two as days, in two days. Let's go. Any drift mode coming through? Of course. <laughs> of course. Dun, 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 dun. The chompy skin. Well, dang. That was a really good showcase. I love that. That we saw the entire map. We saw Deathwire in action, all his abilities. We saw the new the new plague system. The busted status, new staff animations. Uh, we kind of learned where all the medkit stations were if you were paying attention to the video. Um, potentially new lockers as well, but I don't know about that. That might have just been a normal locker. New icons, new visuals. The only thing I didn't like about Deathwire was his sound effects. I like the ability sound effects. I just don't like his scream, his like voice. It's too similar to Wart to me. And I know why, lore-wise, I guess. But I do wish it was like deeper and uh, spookier. But other than that, everything looked amazing. I'll be live streaming it um, on Thursday, uh, the the eighth, yeah, September eighth. So tune into my stream there. I'll also put out a bunch of videos covering the map, covering him, and uh, yeah, going over all the patch notes hopefully as well. So I'll see you guys then.